So today we have a massive list of things that we need to get done. So we are not gonna waste any time. We are gonna dive right in and start getting things checked off. Also, it's very cold today. <laughs> All right, girls, we have to fix this fence because we need to move Stella down here. Yeah. Stella needs greener pastures. And we have to fix the fence. What's greener pastures? <laughs> greener pastures means that she needs more grass to eat. So we thought it would be fun while we are working today to answer some of the most common questions that we've been getting. So first up is, is this our forever home or are we going to flip this house and sell it or use it as some kind of like investment property to rent out? Girls, how about you answer the first question? Are we gonna live here forever? Yeah! <laughs> So we, we love this home. We, like when we bought it, we knew this was going to be our forever home. Now, of course, you never can predict anything with us. We are constantly changing our, our plans. But yeah, that's the plan. We want this to be our home base and to, Bless you. and to live here forever. All right, Chloe, test it out. Do you think she'll get through? Yes. Can Chloe escape? Oh, don't try too hard. <laughs> By the way, these steps are really cool. Thanks. Yeah, I already tried them out and they're not wobbly. So the other thing that people keep asking us is, um, are we meeting people in the community? How have we been received? Are we chatting with our neighbors? Um, and that's something I wish that we could show more. I've just been like super sensitive to not putting people on camera if they don't want to be on camera. But despite the fact that we haven't captured things very well, the community has received us so incredibly well. I'm gonna attempt to work while I talk. <laughs> um, in fact, we just had a couple neighbors walk by as we were working on the fence and uh, chat with us for a while. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Lei parla italiano. Si. <laughs> the town literally threw a welcome party to welcome us and it just blew our minds and they've been so helpful people have been coming over giving us tips helping with stella learning things and uh, i mean last week we went hiking to the tallest nearby mountain with our neighbors which is why heather can't walk today <laughs> i actually might not be a part of the work much today because I may have injured myself. I'm not the best at hiking. I tend to hurt myself. Chloe hurts herself. Me and Chloe are the ones that get hurt typically. But I think everyone's too camera shy, including Ori. I'm gonna put you on the video. I'm gonna cover up your face with a monkey face. I don't care. <laughs> but Ori, you have to be part of our video someday. <laughs> Everyone wants to meet you, Ori. <laughs> Pull this way, towards, towards this way. There you go. All right, everyone pulling strong? Yep. Last piece of wire. Chloe, maybe don't pull so much, okay? All done. I am very strong, and I've been to the world right. too. Mission completed. Mission completed. So I'm starting to wonder if we have made a mistake here. We are not prepared for winter. The temperature has dropped so rapidly, getting very cold and we need we need some firewood we need some way to heat our home uh my my plan was to buy firewood locally but because we've waited so late into the season things have gotten very expensive so we're looking hard to try to find a uh, um, a winter supply of firewood that's not going to cost us too much but i wish we could have time to harvest our own firewood it's just that it takes so long to season and to dry out uh, to properly be able to use it, that we're just out of time. Hello. Chloe, can you say chai? Ciao. 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 So sticking with the theme of answering questions, we get asked a lot if we're allowed to do that, if we're following the rules, is that legal? And of course we are trying to follow everything by the book. In Italy you have a geometra who kind of guides you through the process, acts as uh, kind of a, an architect slash project manager. So Fabio is here today measuring out the windows, making sure that what we want to do is legal. We might have to make a few adjustments to the size of the windows uh, to make it a legal home. Maybe for the light in the house, we could build our own lamps. Some lamps? You want to build your own lamp? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you think that installing a skylight, um, 
to. Um, Heather, yeah. if you're able to come up yeah. here, you can do it. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm so pathetic. You're so <laughs> like... <laughs> you're mean. You're so mean. To be fair, it was a very long hike. How long was it? Like, we hiked for like six hours, so. <laughs> yeah. We had a cut the joint. Okay. And put a, a wood that around from joint from joint to. The bottom of it would be about here. Okay. So then you slice one of the joints here. Yeah. And then you would frame it so you have the middle, yes. Oh, wow. Someone was just telling me about this. Is that because. Why did they have these? I've heard that this is unique just to this area. Um, because they, they arrive with the the hay on the on their backs, and they ah. sit here with legs over here. That's awesome. That's very cool. It was typically of uh, this kind of uh, built uh, in the in the area. This is that's the first time I've noticed it. If you see. We stone are put a year later. Yeah, it almost makes me want to take put the door back here, okay. and then take a few stones out to make a small step, so you kind of honor the tradition and you can still see the shape. Oh, and okay. I don't know. Maybe. Are we living in the stone house full time? No. So we originally wanted to, we had actually planned on living the four of us in this room. And we were, we had all these plans of how we were going to make it work even through winter. But it turns out that we were able to get a phenomenal apartment, very affordable, just five minutes away. And it wasn't even going to be legal for us to live here. And of course we want to do things very strictly by the books. So when we found out that that was going to be breaking the law to live here while we worked on it, we just had to find another option. It's left overnight for a day. Look at me. All right, put the cheese in. Okay, maybe a little bit more, okay? Perfect. And then we put vegetables. Oh yeah, we eat vegetables. Aww. And beans. And broccoli. I guess I'll try it. Yeah, it tastes good. And I don't like vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. Vegetables yeah. are terrible for you. Alright, we don't have any plates here, do we? We need some plates. Uh, we can use this, this is Daddy. Um, we can use like bowls. That looks so good. All right, Chloe, do you want to put how much cheese you want on yours? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, oh, watch me. Let's soap and water, okay? Oh, so. Doesn't really work, does it? Okay. Thank you, buddy. That's a lot of cheese. Can I have some? We are using up some leftovers today. We made some veggie quesadillas. I just don't have any plates. So I've been looking for some fun things to implement in our homeschooling and I have found the perfect little addition. It's called Little Passports. Little Passports is a subscription service where once a month they send you a box of really cool activities. So the one that the girls just opened up is the World Edition where they send you a different country themed box every month where they have really cool activities, crafts, and even a little recipe in there from the culture that they're sharing with you that month. I think it's really cool, especially when we're not traveling as much as we used to, to implement something like this. The girls have opened the Brazil box and they've never been to Brazil, so it's really exciting for them to learn a bit more about the Brazilian culture and have a lot of fun along the way. So I'm already starting to plan what kind of Christmas gifts I'm going to be giving this year, especially to the kids in my life. And I think the Little Passport subscription would be the perfect gift to give because it's so fun and educational. So Little Passports has given us a 30% off discount code to share with you guys. All you have to do is type in the code RAISINGVOYAGERS30. Again, that is RAISINGVOYAGERS30, and that will give you 30% off site-wide. This is the Scarlet Macaw that we made. <laughs> and her name is Scarlet. Yeah. She's flying for the wall again. Where is she stop? Canada! <laughs> Thank you.
why aren't we working on the inside of the house? I would love to start working on the inside of the house. Actually, that's not really even true. The weather has been so fantastic that I've just wanted to be outside, enjoying the view, enjoying the beautiful fall weather. Uh, and I've just been excited to do some outside projects. But there is a deeper reason, and that is because pretty much the very first thing that we have to do for the house is the most expensive part of the process. We just haven't been excited to start that yet, and we're still waiting on some of the paperwork to come back that allows us to do so. But what kills me, and I'll add in my own question, is why aren't we accomplishing more? I feel like every single week I have all these big aspirations for getting so much work done, and I've been a little hard on myself of we're just not getting that much work accomplished. The main reason, which ties into why we haven't started on the inside of the house, is because the road is closed frequently to get to the property. So when we want to come and work on the house, oftentimes the road is completely closed and you can't get through. They're doing so much work to the mountain to prevent rock slides and mud slides. And that work was supposed to be finished a long time ago, but it looks like we might have another month of the road being closed. Which leads us to the next question, which is why aren't you showing us around town? And the honest truth is we really want to, we just haven't really had time. It has honestly been so incredibly overwhelming to just get settled into our new life here. Obviously we wanna be working on the house as much as possible, but we are very excited to go out and explore the nearby towns and even more of Italy than we've seen yet. And yeah, we're excited about that, but it's just not quite the time for it. We got this from the, uh, pizza place the local the pizza solid. shop slash uh, bakery. Uh, I think it's pane dura per animali, stale bread for animals, three euros for the entire bag. <laughs> uh, Stella will love it. And also, she's gonna get even more fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, like hand these to her. <laughs> Stella eats primarily just grass, of course. About once a week, we give her some oats with, I think, dried fruit in it and um, a little bit of bread as her treat. And uh, we also mix in salt, because salt is important for her diet. So the last time that we moved Stella from one pasture to the next, she kind of refused to come along. We were kind of enticing her with bread and I think carrots and treats, and she just wasn't into it. So it took like 45 minutes of, come on Stella, let's go. So this time I'm gonna use a rope as well as the treats to get her to move. So we have oats, bread, and salt, which is very good for her. It's okay. This exact problem. I was <laughs> worried about this. <laughs> no, you aren't. Why did you take it down? <laughs> Daddy's got it under control. Stella's mad because we took that terrace from her and now she's trying to eat all the grass. <laughs> we have much better grass down there. Can I take a shot at it? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Stella. Yeah, that's it, sweet girl. That's it. Come on. Want some? Yeah. That's a good girl. She's too smart for her own Yeah, head. she's a very smart donkey. She's like, I'll keep coming if you give it to me. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Curious to see what she thinks about the I new know. gate and the the stairs. Yeah, I know. The stairs aren't finished yet, I don't so know. she'll have to. She'll be fine. How do I lead her? Just down the stairs? Yeah. Come on, Stella. No, Stella. Stella, over here. Go with Heather. Stella. Stella, over here. 
Yeah, that's right. That's Go ahead, right. Stella. Good girl. I don't know. This is a little. I'm like. Come on. Look, I'm going this way. This way. Come on. Yep, you got it, girl. You're so stubborn. You got it. Don't say Come that. On. Come on. Okay. I'm just uncertain. Look, Stella. What's up, no. Stella? Two hours later. A few inches later. It's a new gate. It's a little scary. It's Stella, okay. come on. Two thousand years later. So I think Stella's too afraid to use the stairs. There's stairs all over here that she uses that are um, steeper than those. But it's just that it's new. She's not used to it. So I'm going to unfortunately have to cut the gate to get her through another way and then put it back. Thank you. Good girl. Are you okay, Stella? You did it. Hi, Stella. She really loves the bread. <laughs> I don't know Stella, why I gave her friends? like four pieces. Do you still love us, Stella? Yeah. We're, do we're still learning. Yeah. You have to give us some grace. We don't know what we're doing yet. Now Chloe can come talk to you all day long. Isn't that a good spot for you? Finish the fence. And then... Move Stella. Stella. Well, that took a lot longer than expected. <laughs> She's a stubborn donkey. That was quite the ordeal. <laughs> I am. I was freezing and now I am burning up. <laughs> that was quite the experience. This was the first time that we've moved her without help. It was just but the stairs. It was the stairs. As soon as we cut the gate, she, she was, was in. She, she was ready she to, go. to go. Down. Yeah. yeah. Now she Chloe is going to chat with her the rest of the day, so I think she'll be happy. So, are we getting another donkey? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I don't think that Stella needs any more empowerment of donkey power. Um, she I'm thinking maybe like some chickens. No. <laughs> she definitely needs a friend. We will find a friend for her. Maybe a pony. I don't know. It's probably. <laughs> I don't know what we'll get her. We need to get her something. Or a, a donkey that's not so stubborn. It's... I don't know that that exists. So now that Stella has moved down to a lower terrace, we need to get her water filled up. Uh, we have a garden hose that stretches all the way down there. I just need to readapt the end of it to our new kitchen setup so that we can fill her up. Oh. Oh shoot. Is it the wrong kind? It's the wrong size. It doesn't fit. I don't know if I can just jam it onto the spigot here. Oh, it's so close. Oh. I'm not carrying buckets of water down for her. There we go. It's going <laughs> to fit. Is it going to go on? Yeah. It might spray a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to back up. <laughs> Perfect. Woohoo. Stella has water. That's filling up a 50 gallon rain barrel down, a couple terraces down. So she will have plenty of water now. So while we're on the uh, subject of getting Stella a friend, there have been a lot of comments thinking she is pregnant, which I don't know if I need to give anyone a lesson, but it takes two donkeys to become pregnant. <laughs> I don't know how she'd be pregnant if she doesn't have any friends. So that's, that would be really yeah. hard. Yeah. It's very rude. She just ate too many chestnuts. <laughs> Nobody here is pregnant. We'll just say that. <laughs> okay. All right. One more, one more stone. I put it in. Oh, too heavy. Baby. Take it out. Take it out. I'm just kidding, Chloe. So there seems to be the general consensus that anytime we dig dirt or move stones around that our house is then going to collapse from a giant mudslide. Uh, so maybe we can answer the question, is your house going to collapse from a giant mudslide? No. Let me show you why. All of these terraces were built very carefully, all of them sitting on the actual mountain. So every terrace is stacked up, but then it sits on the mountain. You can see 
the mountain going down here. So none of the terraces are actually held up by the dirt. Removing the dirt is completely fine, completely safe. We have had professionals out to confirm that the dirt is here because over hundreds of years the dirt has been washing down the mountain building up so removing it is simply putting it back to how it originally was so why aren't the kids going to school here in italy that's a big question and this is one that brady and i have talked about a lot. If you saw our first video when we were moving here to Italy, Brady shared a little bit about his story and we both just decided that it would be best for us for one year to have them homeschooled and they can spend a lot of time learning the Italian language and starting to integrate into the community without going to school full time every day. That was just the decision that we came to that we thought would be the best. I know that it's a very controversial subject and there are some people that believe that you must homeschool your children. There are some people who believe that you can, should never homeschool your children. I'm a big believer in you should do whatever is right for your family. And this year we feel that it's right for us to homeschool our girls. They are doing Italian lessons two to three times a week and they have an activity with other kids at least twice a week that they're doing. So they are getting out there and being around other kids in the community and making friends and they're doing really well. So that leads us to our next question and that is, are we learning Italian? And the answer is yes, of course. We are gonna live in Italy. We have to learn Italian. Uh, we haven't shown our Italian lessons, but we are taking Italian lessons two to three times a week. It's going slowly, piano, piano, very slowly, but that is uh, to be expected. But the girls are doing especially well. In fact, this morning, they were teaching us a couple of Italian words. One of them was Stella. Apparently Stella means star which makes so much sense to me. Stella is quite the star and as evidenced by today, quite the diva as well. <laughs> she is She is the star. A special thank you to our Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Also, if you're interested, don't forget to check out the link in our description for Little Passports before our 30% off coupon code expires. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.